do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Shall we back with another B body banger? You feel me? Listen, this is a part two. I haven't done a part two reaction video, I don't think, ever in my entire freaking life. But if you did not watch part one to me reacting to this girl that's 12 years old and pregnant, well, she was 12 years old and pregnant and had a baby at 12, technically she was pregnant at 11. But, anyways, if you now watch that video, go back on my channel. You know what I'm saying? It was about three videos ago, two videos ago, somewhere around there. Watch that video because you will probably not understand what the heck is going on for all my peoples that came back from part two I'm excited to watch this because they left us with a cliffhanger last video and it really pissed me off But shout out to all y'all that hit me up on Instagram and sent me the link to part two Listen if you want to send anything to react to or if you just want to talk to me chill out really just vibe You feel me hit me over there on Instagram at Juver underscore non saying send me video ideas Now say if you want me to react to anything specific hit me over there if I react to the video I shout you out, but and I've heard it, we just gonna hop right into this. Wait, 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 wait. Jewelry.com, my two third freak bundle of say some videos. Now we're gonna hop into this. I put it, I got the part two, but I just wanna do a little recap because I might have forgotten a little bit of what happened. So this is the video that we watched the first part, and then I'm gonna go into the part two. So it's just a recap, let's go. But his people wanted to know if I was giving my child their last name. So this is right after she gave birth, she talking about. This is right after she literally gave birth to the kid at 12 years old. I was thinking, for what? What do I need to give her y'all last name for? So I told my mom to tell them she's not getting their last name and she was getting my last name. And again, I'm twitting. Yo, this is part 19. So like I said, I did not get my child their last name. So I came up with my baby's name. I named her myself. I gave her my maiden name and all. I wasn't no stupid little girl now. About okay. my baby, no. She not just about to have her dad's last name just because you done helped me made her. Now like, you got to show me why she needs your last name. Remember like, earlier when I was like, he wanted me to keep her? So now she's kept. So now, you know, it's a few days in the hospital. They calling up there trying to check on her or whatever case may be. We tell them she's doing fine. And then, of course, a few days go by and then they discharge me. So now here I am, just gave birth, 12 years old, recovering because I got stitches down there. Okay, I just want to pause real quick. 12, I'm, it's still not comprehending in my head. 12 years old, pushing a baby out the cooler wood. How, how do you do that? You know, how, how, it's like you this small and the baby this small. How did, how did, how did, how did like the baby is this half your size. How do you push out a thing that's half your size? And now his family and everybody want to come down to my house to see the baby. Of course, me being me, I didn't have no problems because I'm like, that's her side of the family too. So of course they can come see her. Y'all, this is crazy. See, that's what really pissed me off. That's where it, it cut off last time. She was about to say, this is crazy, and then she, it just cut off. But I found the other part. Shout out to y'all that sent it to me. It's right here, I think. Y'all said this one is it, so if it's not it, I, we, we throwing hands. A bunch of y'all said it was this one, too. So let's get into it. Hey, I still don't know who that person is on the right. Who the heck is that? We're not going to talk about it anyways. So part one of after birth. So now y'all, again, remember I told y'all I brought my baby home and all, and his family wanted to see her. So me, you know, again, like I told y'all, I would never stop my daughter and her people from seeing each other. So of course I told my mom, it's okay. I, I don't Let them in, they come see let them come see the kid. So now his cousins and his mom and his daddy come. And his mom was just doing the most and examining my baby. So I'm, she ain't examining the baby. She's trying to look at the baby. The, ba the baby just got pushed out by a 12 year old. I'm gonna be looking at the baby too. Like, how the heck you get out here? How the heck you get out here, little girl, little boy, whatever the heck the baby is? I'm looking at her and looking at my mom, and I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, what is she doing? Like, she was holding my child as if the child wasn't a child. Like, she was just like, because she was confused. Side eye and so then she was like, oh, well, we need to talk to you about something. And my mother's like, okay, what do we need to talk about? So she was like, well, my son had pulled me to the side and told me a few things and I just want to run it by you real quick. Part two. Who? There it is. Part two. So now- Why she ain't just make a YouTube video? I'm sick and tired of all these freaking parts one, parts two. Just talk about the freaking thing. It's helpful goes and tell my mom. Well, I had a talk with my son and he don't think the baby he. Oh. I don't think it's his either. And my mother's like, what are you talking about? How can you come up with this conclusion? Tell me why. 
Well, he told me some things happened over the summer, and he just don't think that that's his baby. My mother's like, elaborate on what. Yeah, my, your little baby, your little daughter was starting around. She had multiple bodies. You know what I'm saying? That's what the little boy was gonna say. The little boy said she had multiple bodies and it's probably not his kid because she was he was not the only dude that her 12 year old son was sleeping with. I'm not bashing her, but I'm just I'm just confused. I'm bashing them both. The other dude, don't, don't forget, the other dude was a pedophile. The other dude was like 17 years old clapping a, a 12 year old man. Like this 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 is bro, this is this is just disgusting. This had a no a whole new level. Yeah. She was like, well, we not gonna go into details, but he did let me know that um he only was sexually active with your daughter one time. Oh, now he lying. I, I know he lying. I can tell her face right here, he lying. My mother was like, and you really believe that? And she was like, well, I trust my son and I know that he wouldn't lie to me. And if he said he was only having sex with her one time, then we need to do a DNA test. So now they're requesting a DNA test. Part three. That's what I'm saying. So now her and my mama get to argue. And 12 or 9, ain't nobody going to disrespect my mama, whether me and my mama talk or not. Ain't nobody going to disrespect her. So I jump in the argument. And I'm like, what do you mean he told you we only have sex one time? Your son took my virginity. So she get to saying, that's not what he said, and we need a DNA test. And until the DNA test is proven, basically, they're not going to do nothing for the child. So now here I am, pissed because him and his. But then they asked to come see the kid. Wasn't like that family the one that asked to come? Like she didn't ask the other family to come see the kid. They asked to come see the kid. Like if you ain't think that was your kid, why would you even come over there? You know what I'm saying? Family's there. He's not saying nothing at all. And I'm just standing here like you really about to sit around here and let your mama say all this, and you're really lying to her. Oh, he right there. So now me and him get to arguing. So now that me and him get to arguing. He's like, oh, you know, it was only one time. You need to tell the truth because I'm in big trouble because of it. As if I forced you to have sex with me, sir, right for So now I'm like, you know we had sex. We had sex numerous times. Why are you lying to your mom? So now at this point, he's just denying everything. So, of course, I'm pissed. I, t I tell them that they need to go. They can't be. I don't want them around my baby. But again, y'all, I keep telling y'all I'm not the type to keep my child from her people. So now a few days go by and his mother calls my mom and wanted to apologize, which it was all BS, but she wanted to apologize. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, well she apologized. I'll let my baby go over there. So now I wanted to go swimming with my friends in the neighborhood. And I didn't- You a mama now, you can't even go swimming no more. And when you become a mom, you can't do nothing. Let's talk about it. When you become a mama, you can't do nothing except for titty feed your kid and Changes that. I had nobody to watch my baby because my um, mom was at work and my aunt, she was about to watch my baby at that moment. So now the mom was like, well, I'll watch my baby, my grandbaby. I'll go ahead and watch her. So out of the blue, I'm like, why well, she want to watch my baby? But then again, that's her granddaughter. That so is like, her okay, grandbaby. Cool. So I bring my baby to her house. Okay, y'all, I got fine. So of course, I dropped my baby off and I walked up the road, um, which where the pool was. And a few hours go by and I want to go home. So I go get my baby. And when I pick up my baby, she's acting like everything's going like, oh my goodness, she did so good, this and that, that. So in my head, I'm asking like, why the hell is she telling me my baby did good as if she's a toddler, she's gonna make miss? I ain't asked you that. So I went home and I told my mom, cause my mom didn't even know that I dropped my baby. Oh, they took the baby to go get the test. They finessed. They wanted the baby so they could pluck the hair out and do the DNA test. They stole the baby to get the baby's DNA to do the DNA test just for the mama to get proved wrong that that's her son's kid. He was clapping multiple times with this 12 year old. Your son is sick. Your son needs to go to jail. Your son needs mental effing help. You know what I'm saying? We all down to the house. So now my mother's home and she's like, where are you coming from? And I was like, oh, I was at my friend's house and I dropped you know, my baby off to her people's house. And I, I was at the pool, and my mother was like, why you didn't call me to let me know that she was dropping her off over there? And I was like, well, mom, you know, that's her people too, and I need somebody to watch her while I want to go to the pool. My mom was like, they ain't got no damn sense, and they bet not have done that to my grandbaby. Oh. Not putting two and two together, I'm like, okay, what is she talking about? Okay, y'all, about to put part two. But what the f*** going on? Where the, where the part two at? Man, stop doing, see, I can't do this foolishness. I can't.
This ain't the mother F ain't no No, I'm finding the other one. F all this. Where's the part two? Is this a, this better be it? I promise y'all this better. If this ain't it, I'm finding this girl in real life and I gotta slap some sense into her. You know what I'm saying? I, I, well, I'm not gonna slap sense into her, but I'm gonna I'm get real mad. This better be part two. I'm sick of tired of this freaking part two. You should have posted the whole thing in one freaking take. What the heck going on here? This is just freaking ridiculous. Man, like, hurry up with this. Man, I don't care about none of this ad stuff. Bro, why is it two ads? Why my videos don't get two ads? I'm trying to get paid too. Show me here again. Big body paid. So now I'm letting my baby go over there regularly so that way she can spend time wait, with- Wait, wait, wait. I'm back, let's get part six. So now I'm letting my baby go over there regularly so that way she can spend time with her dad and- his Is this kid. part two? And still not sitting well with my mom or dad, I'm letting her go over there. So now we go by a few weeks and I decide that one day I'm not gonna let my baby stay over there. So I went to go pick up my baby. And his mom was like, Kiara, when you get the chance, have your mom call me. So I'm like, okay, my mom don't fool with them anyway, so whatever, I'll tell her. So I pick up my baby, go home, and I'm with my mom and I tell her. So my mom and her end up conversating. And oh, she no. was like, well, I told Kiara that I wanted to talk to you because we have some things to discuss. And my mom was like, basically, here we go again. What y'all have up y'all sleeve now? She was like, well, you know, I appreciate you letting us um, spend time with the baby. Okay, I'm running out of time. Parts of it. Man, I'm tired of these parts. Talk faster. Talk faster. You're pissing me off. You're blowing me right now. Okay. So she's doing this whole spiel about how she appreciate us letting my baby go over to um, her house and let them spend time together. But now she's starting to be with the BS because you can hear it in her voice. So she goes and say, well... Wow, we were babysitting, you know, my daughter. I decided to take it upon myself and purchase an at-home DNA test. I, call, I did not tell y'all. Did not literally tell y'all. That's exactly what the F she did not tell y'all. It's like I'm a fortune teller or something. I know what be going on. I know what be going on, bro. And I wish I somebody know. would baby test my test my my baby DNA test my baby man I will slap the DNA out your face get my man pick it puck in there for my kid man I'll pluck your life away. It wasn't right, but we did swab her mouth and swab his mouth also, and the results just came back in and it's not sitting right with me. So my mother's like, okay, so now I'm about to get on y'all, okay? Yeah. So she said, okay, so y'all done did all of this, basically trying to make it seem like y'all care. What did the results say? She said, well, the results said that he is not the father of the baby. Man, that's so cap. That's so cap. They got the DNA test from Walmart. And they, it was $33. But you need at least a, the, the $90 one for it to be accurate. Okay, all right. Okay, so now at this moment, I am pissed. Because I'm like, who gave y'all permission to swap my child's mouth? I'm saying. 12 or 9, you still need my permission to swap my baby's mouth. Oh, she's still 12 at this point, too. That's crazy. She don't even know what the heck going on, really. She's 12 years old. She don't really know what the heck going on, like, mentally, you feel me? Like, she she really don't know. Like, she know, but she don't, like, she's not mature enough to, like, know. You know what I'm saying? So, in my head, I'm like, yo, there's no way that this old lady is doing this. So, my mother's like, why would you do that? Now, in the state of South Carolina, technically my mother has custody of me and my daughter. So, even if I didn't give consent, if my mother would have gave consent, it would have been fine. But again, the heifer did not get no consent from nobody. So, now I'm like, so you're basically calling me a hoe. And she's like, well, the test results say that's not his child. So, we need to figure out what's going to happen now. Basically saying, how is there proof that we slept together? So I called her bluff. I said, if it's not his, let me see the test results. Oh, gotcha, right there. You're done now. Y'all, I got to finish this in part nine, okay? Okay, y'all, part nine. So now, again, I done asked her, let me, see the, let me see the test. She could not provide the test. She had every excuse in the book why I could not see the test. So I'm like, if you got the test and it's not his, but you won't show me the test, how do I know you're not lying? Now, y'all know how older people is. And when I mean older people, I mean like my mama's age and older. They're stuck in their way. So mm. they feel like they can't do nothing wrong. You can't check them about nothing, mm. none of that. Mm. So she's like, 
Mom. She don't need to lie. She don't need to lie to no child, especially not one that's accusing her son of being the father of their child. Now again, his big, tall, goofy behind just standing there not saying nothing. So at this moment, I know I'm really dealing with a mama's boy. And I'm like, bro, are you really gonna sit here and let this lady say that this is not your child? If she can't provide me with results, you provide me with the results since you're my baby daddy. Okay, part 10. So now at this point, I'm just like, you are not what I thought you would be. Like, I really cannot believe, like, you know you took my virginity and you're not telling the truth That's at crazy. all. So his mother has the audacity to say, well, maybe my cousin is my baby daddy. Yeah, y'all heard that right. She Wait a minute, lady. Are you telling me you're saying this lady's dealing with some incest? What? Okay, so the mom of the of the baby dad, right? The mom of the baby's father says maybe it's the it's the baby mother's cousin that knocked up the baby mother. Why would she even how would she even have this information? Why would she just assume it's just the cousin just out of nowhere? Like where was cousin ever even mentioned in the story? You know what I'm saying? What's going on really? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. She said maybe my cousin is my baby daddy. She went from saying maybe my cousin is my baby daddy oh, no. to maybe it being my mom's boyfriend at the time. But all she knew, like she said, all she, all she knew was it, it was not her son's child. Yeah. So now y'all, I am ashamed. I'm embarrassed. I'm like, now people really are going to think that I'm out here sleeping with everybody and I'm not. And throughout all of this, the boy stayed quiet. All of this, I was still in love with this boy. Oh, that'd be the problem. You still be in love with the heifer that do you wrong. That'd be the problem. But my cousin, though, really? My cousin? Your cousin? And technically, my stepdad. Your like, stepdad? Come on, my cousin. So now, after she done accused me of sleeping with my cousin and my stepdad, I'm like literally like going crazy, trying to commit suicide, all of this. And of course, my mother being an alcoholic, it wasn't helping. This is when my dad stepped in. Oh, there you go. So the Where dad the dad been? That's what been pissing me. Where the dad been this whole time? Slap. So sent it to everybody, man. It's to everybody. And then my dad stepped in is when I attempted to run away with my baby. Now here I am trying Wait, what? to run away with my baby at 12 years old, and she's like three months old now. What? But of course, me running away wasn't successful because my baby daddy's brother caught me running away and brought me back home. <laughs> So now my mom told my dad that I was trying to run away and he was like, basically, I'm going to take my daughter from you. So she's coming up to New York. So now they're saying I can't take my baby up north, even though they're denying my child. My mom is not wanting me to leave. And at this point, all I want to do is I literally leave the face of the earth. So again, I try to commit suicide again. Okay, part two. Well, that's crazy, so now, man. It's so crazy. Of course it's about me because now I don't have my baby, now his family is trying me, well his mother specifically. My mama is drinking and I'm trying to commit suicide. So now my dad has a plan to where he's going to get me to come back to New York. So I want to say like two weeks went by and my dad ended up buying me a ticket for me and my baby. My mother was like, I don't care if you buy the ticket, she's not going. But my dad was like, you basically not about to tell me what to do with my child. So in the midst of my mother being drunk, passed out drunk, Dang. Um, you just I left. ended up packing all my stuff while she was passed out drunk. Dang. And at the this time crazy. my aunt was married and her husband helped me, you know, pack up my stuff in the car and board the plane to New York. So again, when my mother's passed out drunk, I ended up leaving to go to New York. Part 13. So now here I am in New York with my dad and Miss Piggy, which is his wife and her kid. And my grandmother also lives in New York and everybody give me the talk like, basically going in on me that I had a baby at 12. But my dad was just explaining like, just because you appear that don't mean anything. Like we still gonna get this man to go to prison cause he don't got my daughter pregnant. While we were in New York, my dad did not waste no time. Mm. My dad took me to court to drop child support that my mother had on him for me Whoa. and then he also ended up getting joint custody of my daughter so that way he can go ahead and add my daughter to his insurance through his job 
Okay, so he, he he started doing some stuff. He started doing some good stuff. Where the father man? The father man have came a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? He started doing stuff. Cause nobody else was really doing stuff. They were just fighting over a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then the mama was an alcoholic. It was just it was just not a good like environment. You know what I'm saying? Especially not for a 12 year old that just had a kid. It was a horrible environment for a 12 year old that just had a, a kid. I don't think there's any environment that's perfect for a 12 year old. A 12 year old that has a kid. And also get like all the benefits he needed for my daughter. What I know now that I didn't know back then, my dad is very money hungry. Oh. But I'm gonna come back with part part 14. Wait, what? So now here I am giving my dad or going to court to give my dad joint custody of my daughter. And immediately the first thing my dad is saying is like, okay, now that I have joint custody, I can go ahead and get the benefits I need for her. And when I mean benefits, we're like WIC food stamps, Medicaid, all of that. So now I'm in the house with this man and his wife and her four kids. Uh-huh. And they're acting like my child is their child. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, okay, don't be disrespectful because that's your, that's your father, but mm -mm, this ain't gonna work. Now at this moment, I'm in New York from what, August, July, August. And I was there for about, I'm gonna say until like, November, somewhere around there. Come on, talk faster. The person's going. Okay, what are we going to do about her dad? And my dad just like, don't worry about it. I'm going to handle it. Okay, part 15 coming. Okay, part 15. So now, y'all, mind y'all, I said that I was in New York with my dad. And the whole time while I'm in New York, I'm thinking, like, it's going to be good for us, but it wasn't. So my dad. I'm not going to lie. I thought it would be good for y'all, too. Like, when you said he started doing stuff, I was already hyped. Y'all heard me. I was hyped. I was like, yo, he getting stuff together. He finna get right. It said that he was still going to pursue pressure charges and all of that as far as, like, taking it to trial now. So my dad is not really giving me no updates. I do know I have, like, social services coming up to the school still talking to me because they're thinking it's traumatic and I need therapy. It is traumatic. So y'all remember when I said my dad was getting benefits for my daughter? I did not know my dad was getting F.I. for my daughter. What's F.I.? So now here I am thinking my dad is going to help me and my daughter the whole time. He really only got us to get the FI. And if anybody ever been on welfare, FI is when the government pays you for a child that you have. But then the parent that doesn't have custody of that child has to pay it back. So now at this point, my dad is getting benefits for my daughter as far as money. But he's not really doing nothing for my daughter. Man, wait up. I'm sick and tired of this. I am sick and mother effing tired of these cliffhangers. How many parts is it? How many? Is this the other part? I don't even feel like watching this right now. It's a whole other nine minutes. I don't even I don't even care about the story I want. You could y'all can tell me in the comments down below. Spoil it. I don't care. I don't want to watch it anymore. I don't it's just pissing me off with so many parts, so many videos. Yeah, but let me know in the comments down below. What the heck happens? How does it end? Is it a good ending? Well, obviously it's a good ending. She's alive here. She's like older now, like 20 something. But man, I don't even know what the heck, what the heck to say. Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below, bro. And make sure y'all, y'all can spoil it for me. Tell me what exactly happened. So I know y'all watched it. I know y'all probably gonna watch it after this. But let me know what happens in the comments down below. Actually DM me on Instagram, at you for underscore, y'all you know saying? It's right over there. Hit me over there on Instagram. DM me what the heck happened. Because I want to know what happened, but I don't feel like watching all these parts. It'd be like 100,000 parts. Man, I don't have... I don't, I don't want to do that. <sighs> but before you die, man, I have a drawer about two or three, three months and stuff. It's crazy. I already told you how I'm coming if my daughter try on some <laughs> that stuff. Gotta slap the crap at her. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Not playing that at all. I'm not playing that at all. If you're watching this, my future, future daughter, at all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing y'all. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through